Please remain standing, and for graduates, take off your caps for the playing of our national anthem. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the graduation ceremony of Esau Meadow High School's Class of 2022. So, man, this has been quite a year. Right from the start of September, we have hit the ground running. Now, in the spring of 2021, we returned to classes. But this was the year that we were really back. Every kid, every day, and it was awesome. We saw the return of Friday night football on those chilly autumn nights with packed stands and blaring instruments from the band. I had no idea how much I missed the Apache song. Give him a round of applause. So we also saw the rebirth of Spartanum and our music concerts and our art show to packed houses with families and friends cheering on, congratulating the awesome performances of our kids. And we saw our extracurricular clubs bring back an enrichment to our student body through the clubs like Model Congress, Key Club, GSA, the math team, and robotics. I have always felt that these are the things that are the lifeblood of our school. And that life finally returned this year. But we all know it was not without challenges. But you know what? Tonight is a celebration and we aren't going to talk about how this graduating class had to miss out on one of the defining moments of every high school kid's career, the sophomore MCAS. So to the students, if you really want that one back, just let me know and I will reach out to Commissioner Riley. Now this graduating class, they have been just a phenomenal group to lead us this year. To be their principal, I feel like I need to channel my inner Ted Lasso and say, I feel like we fell out of a lucky tree, hit every branch on the way down and ended up in a pool of cash and Sour Patch Kids. You see, in high schools, seniors lead. They set the climate and the tone for any school year. And I won't lie that some classes can definitely be tougher than others. However, with so much uncertainty starting this fall, this was the right group of seniors for this year. They made it fun, they made it memorable, and they made it special. A story that I think best encapsulates this group of soon-to-be graduates before us is from their senior banquet back in April. 
Just to put it into context, I've been to a dozen of these banquets over the years. As with most things in a school year, there's a rhythm to the event. In the first hour, the students eat, take pictures, and dedicate the yearbook to a staff member. In the second hour, half of them dance while the other half leaves. And when we reach the end of the night, there's a handful of students left on the dance floor as the lights go on. However, this year something different happened. This year, they all stayed. Every single kid. When the clock struck 10 and we turned the lights on at the end, the banquet hall was absolutely packed and the students were still in the middle of the dance floor. We even joked with some of them about playing some bad music just to get them to go home. It was a special moment for a special class. They didn't want it to be over, but as with all good things, it had to come to an end. It was closing time and it was time to open up all the doors and let them back out into the world. And now we sit here tonight and as with all previous graduating classes who have walked the halls of Esau Meadow High School, their four years have come to an end. And while those four years were good, what comes next will be as well. So as you go back out into that world, I challenge you to make it good. Not just good for yourself, but good for those around you. The world can be tough, it can be cold, and it can be cruel. But you here, you are good. And this good thing called high school is ending because this world needs you. Good luck to the class of 2022. I'm Nolan Johnson. I'm the senior class president for this year. Um, before I get started with this jumble of words, I like to call a speech. Uh, my mom really pestered me about getting as much pictures as I could. So I thought that one from here could get everyone all in one so we can all get out of here as soon as possible. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to take a quick selfie, I think, of the graduating class. All right, on three, we're going to say 22. One, two, three. OK. All right. All right. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the class of 2022's graduation ceremony. I would first like to begin with thanking our senior class advisors, Ms. Reed and Mr. Flory, for their diligent work with us to give the senior class the best year possible, as well as my fellow class advisors, Stefania LaCorey, Ainsley Smith, Nicholas Cassidy, and Caitlin Gibbons for working as a team all year long and working together to make each of our events possible. A shout out to Mr. Morgan is due as well for being the best networker I know, as he would say, and to Ms. Card for letting, for letting us borrow all of our kitchen equipment. Really sorry about that spatula, by the way. Um, I would also like to thank Mr. Page for putting up with all of our crazy fundraiser and event ideas while also being very lenient. And a thanks to the entirety of the faculty who let their students out of class and did what they could to support the senior class. We appreciate you. To the families of the graduates before you, thank you for leading us down this road and into the seats we then will leave our childhood from and walk into the rest of our adult lives. One of the strongest memories I've had over the course of my high school career actually came from outside of school. It was during the junior skip day last year. All of us were sitting on the beach enjoying Twizzlers and volleyball when the election results came out for next year's class advisors. I remember the shock that ran through me when seeing my name in the email, but it was not because I had won However, because I had realized that all of us now knew this aspect of our senior year. And it was in that moment that I first felt like a senior. The rest of the year flew by faster than Diane in her golf cart. And now we're here, graduating. 
I think that the most memorable moments from this year were running out onto the turf after Mon scored the winning goal at the soccer finals game against Nasset, or getting actually soaked with sweat, could be just me, from dancing all night at our banquet, or getting chased down by a friend wearing a wig and toting a water, water gun. All these moments brought joy to so many of us. However, during the same four years we were here, the class of 22 also faced many obstacles that I do not think anyone needs a reminder of. These struggles, and also good memories, are what helped shape the young adults sitting before you today. And when we all go home tonight, or to other places, a new obstacle will present itself, adulthood. Some of us will go far or stay close, but we almost move past the place where we have been for so long. And many of us will face this alone. Quite scary, however necessary. Being on our own is a big change for most of us. So know you're not alone in being uncertain for the months to come. Know that being alone is not always a bad thing. It is when you will have the opportunity to reflect on your true self and see the person you most desire to be. For the first time, the path we follow will be entirely our choice. And the person that the rest of the world will see is entirely up to you. Yes, we will all make mistakes at times and then make many more mistakes, but I urge you to embrace these mistakes and in doing so, learn how to move past them for that is how true character is built. In addition to this, I encourage everyone here to dream as well. If there's one thing these past four years has taught us, besides control F on a Quizlet, it was that life can change very quickly. Dream for yourself, dream of the person you can be. Be ambitious every day, and do not settle for less than what you know you deserve, even if it means being called stubborn. We all may have what we dream for. It just depends on how hard you're willing to work. I'm extraordinarily proud to be a part of this year's graduating class. I have never had the pleasure of knowing a group of more individualistic people, and that is where our strength lies. To all of you, be ambitious, be stubborn, and dream. For you are the only person capable of stopping yourself from getting what you want. To the class of 22, are you feeling 22 yet? But actually, thank you for the years of links, laughs, and love. Never forget the people sitting around you, for it was each other who made us ready for this day. I wish you all the best as you head into your next chapter. And lastly, go Spartans. Thank you and congratulations. Good evening, class of 2022, parents, teachers, alumni, and anyone else who may be in attendance this evening. I'm Aaron Hamilton. I was not elected class president. Uh, I like to think I'm pretty okay at writing speeches though, so I guess we'll find out. Uh, anyone who has had to write a speech knows that coming up with a topic is one of the hardest parts. In writing this, I thought, there's a lot of high school experiences I could reflect on getting through remote learning, persevering through difficult classes, or having fun at school organized events like Spartanum. But we've done enough reflecting on the past. Graduation is about looking forward to the future. Everyone has compared themselves to another person at one point or another. I mean, look at Tom Brady. Even if it's not Tom Brady, there's probably someone who you have compared yourself to, saying, I wish that I was them. I do the same thing, mostly comparing myself to my peers. I won't ever be as athletic or as funny or popular or well-liked as some of you. But the fact is that I and each one of you have something unique, whether that's a talent, a part of your personality, or an idea that we carry with us that no one else has. And each one of you can use that unique thing to be successful in life. How you use your talents and abilities to benefit your future is up to each one of you to decide. But never forget that every one of you is unique in some way. Never forget that success isn't always monetary in nature. 
And never forget that even if you don't go on to cure cancer, you will be valuable to society in some way. Even if it's just making someone's day by smiling at them as you walk down the street. I look forward to seeing what each one of you will do in 20 years. Look, it's likely I won't even know what you're up to then, but if I see your name in the news, I can say, hey, I was trapped in a church with him or her during a fire drill. Good luck to the class of 22, and thank you for all the experiences and memories you've given me. Hello, my name is Garrett Markoski, and similarly to Aaron, I was also not elected um, class president, but I was elected class musician, which I think gives me merit to speak today. I must begin by thanking the entire administration, faculty, and staff for getting us, the class of 2022, to where we are today. And to my fellow graduates, make space to be here now in the moment. Look to the person to your left and to your right, in front and behind you. Hi, Mr. Kiernan. We get this exact moment once. Be here, be now with these people. Despite the cliche, the word bittersweet with its inherent juxtaposition is the only word I can muster to accurately describe my emotions right now. If you had asked me four months ago, I could not have been more eager to graduate and move beyond this chapter in my life, solely emphasizing a sweet feeling. But now that I've approached these doors of graduation, their handles anxiously awaiting our push forth, I must acknowledge a bitter part and admit to being hesitant of this inevitable departure. I predict, whether we realize it or not, that the tentative loosening of many of the relationships that have been a daily constant for the last four years is a primary reason behind these emotions. While we will all still, can you still continue to see our closest of friends, there are still people we like, but would not necessarily hang out with outside of school. Those close acquaintances who float just beneath the realm of friendship, the ones you spontaneously share a slice with at pizza shop, run into on the bike trail and continue your walk with, or, my personal favorite, vibe with on the dance floor at prom. These are the relationships that I will miss most. There are comfortable familiarities slipping away with this momentous occasion. With this impending loss in mind, I encourage all of you, actively reach out to those people who you may not have normally gone out of your way to speak to, whether it's later today or in the future, while moving on to a new chapter is important, keeping in your heart those who have shaped you into the person you are today is equally vital. Staying connected with those who have made positive impacts in your life, no matter how large or small, is an incredible way to maintain the sweet rather than the bitter in the passing of these good memories. This occasion is undoubtedly filled with sweetness. I mean, sleeping in all next week, the piece of paper we received, the fire engine red drip we're all wearing, but the deeper suite beyond the surface is the invaluable part, the relationships that we will truly remember for the rest of our lives. To be frank, among this group of about 200 students sit some of the most incredible athletes, talented musicians, brilliant scholars, kind of souls, almost most importantly, and overall inspirational humans I may possibly ever get the privilege to know in my life. And I believe we can all faithfully agree to that. Staying connected to these people who have made positive impacts in your life maintains the sweet, the important sweet, in the passing of good memories. Faculty, staff, administration, families, whom I must admit I did not tell I was speaking today, and most importantly, my classmates. From the bottom of my heart, thank you all so incredibly much for the last four years. And to each and every one of you, congratulations. We did it. We have another round of applause for our student speakers. Really impressive.
Oh, good evening and welcome. Welcome to families and friends, faculty and staff, school committee members, and most importantly, the class of 2022. Class of 2022, what an interesting four years you have had at ELHS. Only your ninth grade year was not impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. In March of your 10th grade year, all school operations you had experienced and known just stopped. Since then, it has been a bit of a roller coaster ride with many changes and challenges. Yet through it all, you have been role models for all of us, showing resilience and perseverance. Especially this year, your senior year, when we all expected a return to pre-pandemic normalcy as we prepared in the summer for the opening of school. Unfortunately, COVID-19 changed our plans as it has so often done in the past two plus years. Incredibly though, as society became consumed with debate on how best to react to the new challenges of the pandemic, you, class of 2022, simply adapted and overcame the challenges showing your resilience. You began the year masked, but marked it with your excitement to be in person, in school. You embraced utilizing outside learning spaces and courtyards, dining al fresco under the tent. What a great thing. And I believe that your class has perfected the outdoor learning walk and brain break. Some sports still required masks for athletes, but you enthusiastically engaged, excited that all sports had resumed and the postseason also returned. Late February arrived and the masks were taken off. You led ELHS enthusiastically into this freer phase of the pandemic. No matter the change or the challenge, you kept your focus forward. Your resilience helped us to continue to focus forward. It helped lead ELHS into a new era this spring, where we have once again resumed a freer learning environment. Your resilience and perseverance have helped define your high school career and led you to incredible success. You've been great role models for all of us. These traits will serve you well as you move forward into the next chapter of your life. And you are all ready to move on to new endeavors. We celebrate your achievements tonight, and we wish you all the best as you move on from ELHS. Class of 2022, congratulations and good luck. Boy, that sun is bright. <laughs> Good evening. On behalf of the school committee, I want to welcome all of you this evening. I want to specifically acknowledge the staff, the educators, and all those who have contributed to those of you sitting before us tonight. And I want to congratulate the class of 2022 on your accomplishments. It's clear by you sitting us before us tonight and speaking um, how well you've done. And I stand before you this year on a different level as a dad. I love you, Anna Kate. I'm so proud of you. And I look forward to seeing what you all can accomplish moving forward. And I've so much enjoyed watching you grow up. As I was driving through the rotary the other day, for the about seventh time, I was thinking, what words of wisdom should I pass along before my daughter and many of you move on to the next uh, endeavor in your life? So I went out to friends and family and asked for some suggestions on what they might say for words of wisdom. They came up with things like, make peace with your past so it does not offer the, the, the so it does not affect the president. What others think of you is not, is none of your business. Don't compare your life to others and don't judge them. You have no idea what their journey is all about. Have dessert first. You are in charge of your own happiness. Smile. You don't own all the problems in the world. Live life intentionally. Look up more. 
Surround yourself with people with momentum. Live your truth. Don't let others define you. Make new friends. Own less stuff. Go see and experience what this beautiful world has to offer. But always remember your roots. And I'd like to quote a modern philosopher, Harry Edward Stiles. Remember, like where you've come from, know who you are. We know who you are, Class of 2022, and we're proud of you. Congratulations, and we wish you the best of luck. I have one more question to ask the Class of 2022. Are you ready to take your walk? Let's do it, Mr. Page, please. Okay, let's go. So, school committee member Greg Thompson, I present to you the Esau Meadow High School class of 2022. I hereby certify that they have met the requirements set forth by the Esau Meadow Public Schools and the Esau Meadow School Committee. Nolan Raymond Johnson. <laughs> Stefania Julia LaCour. Ainsley Averill Smith. Caitlin Elizabeth Gibbons. Nicholas James Cassidy. Aaron Scott Hamilton. Garrett Jessen Bukowski. <laughs> Joseph Eckert.
Gregory Kulinak. Corbin Marshall. Vadim Lesetsin. Mitchell John Ahrens. I am a brewery. Varida Ali. Ali. <laughs> Lexi, Lexi Jordan, Jordan Andrews. Andrews. Kaylin Zane Asher. Alora Sierra Assad. Attica Nafiz Awan. Dante Savior Bates. Catherine Mary Baxendale. Jameson Chase Baby. Emma Flynn the dark. Kaylin, 
Nina, Nina Michelle, Michelle Bedford. Bedford. <laughs> Isabella, Isabella Maria, Maria Barrios. Barrios. Kyle, Kyle Tristan, Tristan Burks. Burks. Nathaniel, Nathaniel Albert Bissnett. Xavier Vilas Boas. Kristen Vasail Bolberg. Dominic, Dominic Michael, Michael Bolton. Bolton. James, James Dylan, Dylan Bond. Bond. Christopher, Christopher Bolton. Bolton. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. No. Nope. Uh, Delaney, uh, Delaney M. Borello. Haley, Haley Madison, Madison Brown. Brown. Ryan, Ryan Hunt, Hunt Brunel. Brunel. <laughs> Vincent, Vincent Nguyen, Nguyen Bui. Bui. Michael, Michael James, James Burkhardt, Burkhardt Jr. Jr. Jenna, Jenna Raylin, Raylin Butler. Butler. Jack, Jack Bertram Calcidisi. Luke Christopher Corando. Michael, Michael Carlone. Carlone. Damiana, Damiana Carano. Carano.
Raymond Josiah Carter. Emma Elizabeth Cantantoridi. Dominic Emilio Cava. Nora Kathleen Kavanaugh. Marcus Lance Clark. Nicholas Andrew Clear. Aiden P. Cochran. Zachary, Zachary Frederick, Frederick Camisso. Camisso. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey Thomas, Thomas Kondike. Kondike. Patrick, Patrick Leon, Leon Crenshaw, Crenshaw Jr. Jr. <laughs> Nina, Nina Margaret, Margaret Kukovia. Gabrielle, Gabrielle Ames, Ames Cunningham. Cunningham. Ella, Ella Elizabeth Cushman. Colin, Colin George, George Dandy. Dandy. <laughs> Douglas, Douglas Francis, Francis Donis, Donis the Third. third. Jacqueline Marie Adonis. Mira Davi.
Connor Patrick Dearborn. Molly Brestahan Delaney. Matthew Garen, Garen Delos. Matthew A. Denno. Juliana E. De Pergola. Abigail Joy Devenich. <laughs> Abigail Rose the boy. Alicia J. Diaz. John Vincent Dieni. Alexandros Georges Di Matu Glu. Oh. Eric Brian Donaldson. Carolise Angeli Dones. James Paul Doty. Caitlin Grace Dowds. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Duchesne. Dylan C. Dulcinos. <laughs> Chiana Emily Duong. Madison Lynn Edwards. <laughs> Alexandra, 
Alexandra Morella Eager. Tyrell Dean Ellerby. Bryn Avery Erickson. Colin Craig Evans. Samuel Feliciano. Lucas Christopher Ferguson. We've got this. Giovanni Antonio Ferentino. Kyle Andrew Fisk. Miranda Janine Flood. Liliana Alexa Fox. <laughs> Isabella C. Frigo. Kyle Garvey Hanna. <laughs> Nicholas Cameron Gasparini. Benjamin Michael Giroux. Jaden Amelia Goncalves. Brianna Gonzalez. Josiah Gonzalez. Noah Charles Goodchild. <laughs> Brooklyn Goodrow.
Paul James Gosselin. Natalia Christina Goulas. Ethan C. Grano. Sarah Cora Grant. Sarah Christine Greco. Kelly Kathleen Griffin. Gianni Joseph Geyer. James Patrick Hannigan. Brendan Adal Hanoush. Devin Michael Hebert. Tidell Hawk. Brendan Robert Herlika. Brianna Ray Jarvis. Allison Ivy Johnson. Alana Blake Joyce. Robert James Kane. Joshua Kenny Manorite. Reagan Elizabeth Kervik. Aman Sin Kurana. Alexandra Maria Kogan. Kendrick LaFleche. <laughs> Elliot LaRock. Carissa Marie Lashway. G. 
Jake Richard Lavalley. Jack Oliver Learned. Sean Patrick Learned. Madison Vancini Lehulier. Elsa Ma. Justin T. McFarland. I got it. Trust me. <laughs> Raya McKechnie. L. Marie Makara. Kennedy Evelyn Malmborg. Natalie May Malone. Madison Gail Maloney. Rebecca Nicole Mana Mejia. Liliana Marjorie Mantoni. Aiden Scott Martin. Luke Thomas Mazza. Natalie Rose Mazza. Santino Francis Mazza. Vincenzo Joseph Mazza. I got it. Janaya M. McClendon. Rory McKinley McTaggart. Tanner Thomas McTaggart. Allison Ann Mandrala. Gabriela Elisa Michalski. Michaela Ruth Miller. Louis Liam Morabito. Yay! 
Sarah Mary Frances Moriarty. Ryan Patrick Morneau. Caleb Michael Morrissey. Fizan Mohammed. Katie Nugent. Sally Nguyen. <laughs> Vie An Nguyen. <laughs> Christian George O'Brien. Patrick John Gareth O'Brien. <laughs> Finian Skelly Oldenburg. <laughs> Colleen Elizabeth O'Neill. Jacob Joseph Pachetto. Matthew Joseph Pelletier. Gianna Diane Rose Pamonti. Ava Michaela Presnell. <laughs> Quinn Quartuli. <laughs> Emilia Trinity Ramos. Andrew David Raymond. Jake Bernard Reed. Jacob D. Rice. Dominic Reggio. Frankie Emmanuel Privas. Olivia Madison Robb. Kayla Marguerite Rosati. James George Rumaliotis. Yeah. <laughs> Kaylee Crystal Roy.
Mackenzie Taylor Russo. Kaylee Jade Sanchez. Dominic James Chabelli. John Robert Scully. <laughs> Brian Alexander Shields. Jenny Shin. Polina Sholga. Victoria Catherine Smith. Lily Jane Sterling. Patrick John Stevens. Noah Owen Samansky. Christian James Thomas. Anna Kate Thompson. Vanessa Nicole Torsha. Tyler Tremblay. Cleopatra Trong. New Hain Trong Christopher Patrick Upton Brooke Teresa Vaccaro Dominic Paul Vona. Jordan C. Wainwright. Nathan Tyler Wainwright. Erica Lynn Wands. Asia Marie Ware. You look great. Emma Rose Wayland.
Benjamin Peter Weldon. Michael Anthony Evan Whitehead. Molly Elizabeth Wilson. Luke Thomas Whitwer. Kaylee Alexis Yeager. Deep breath. Charlie Marie Susgo.